Do you hate testing your tank? How much do you even need to test? Stay tuned to find out. Hey guys, today on Ask Reef Dudes, Rich writes in and says, Hey Devin, thanks for posting videos. I have a problem with testing. It's such a pain, I don't even really do it anymore. Are there any quick ways or quick things to do without paying a ton of money? Thanks, Rich. First of all, Rich, I just want to thank you for writing in and thank you for being a subscriber and following my channel. I really appreciate it and I love the support. So happy to help you guys out whenever I can. Now to get to the actual question. Do you really need to test? Well, there's a few things. If you have a coral tank, I would definitely recommend yes. But how often? The more mature your tank is, the less you need to test, less frequently. So when you first set up a tank, it's always a good idea to test. Constantly, you want to test every few days until you get things stable. Now, once you have enough coral and if your weekly water change aren't enough, so if you test on Sunday a week later, you test Sunday later and there isn't a big swing and you can just do your water change, you're golden. However, on certain tanks, once you have tons of coral, you're going to have to start dosing. So I would definitely recommend getting a doser. Um, if you're on a budget, the Jabo doser is only about 100 bucks, has four pumps on it and does a great job. So what, do you sh what should you be testing? Well, so what I do now, since my tank's fairly established, on a monthly basis I try and do the extensive test, which is generally calcium, alkalinity, magnesium, phosphates, those type of ones. But on a weekly level, I only ever test alkalinity. And so if you don't want to test, you're, you know, you want something quick and easy, do your alkalinity test once a week and do other ones monthly. Now this works if your tank is stable and if you have a good handle on it. So if you, how to check how much to dose first of all so if it's say 5 p.m test your alkalinity if it reads 8.5 wait 24 hours at 5 p.m again test it again and if it's only 8.0 then you know you've used half a degree of alkalinity within a day so one thing you could do you go on a reef calculator like brs's website has one and you can say okay i got a 100 gallon tank at my desired level is 8.5 my current level is 8, how much do I need to dose, and it's, I believe it works out to around 30-35 milliliters. So once you know that, 35 milliliters a day of alkalinity is how much your tank is consuming. So you tell your doser to dose 35 mils in the next 24 hours, test your tank again, and it should be nice and stable. So once you do that, once your tank is stable, you don't even really need to test it that much. Like, you know, sometimes I'll go a couple, two weeks before testing alkalinity. I try to test once a week, but sometimes it's longer. So the bare minimum, that's kind of what I would suggest doing. Now, what's the quickest way to test alkalinity? So for me personally, I am a big fan of these little Hannah checkers, especially for alkalinity. The checker itself, I know you said without spending a lot of money, but the checker itself is about 40, 45 bucks new. And once you have that, the tests are relatively cheap. I think it works out to about 35, 40 cents a test. So if you test once a week, you're at a buck 50, two bucks max a month. So it's really no big deal. And this is one of the quickest ways to test your alkalinity. So let's take a quick peek on how long it actually takes. So the first step is to fill up your cuvette with 10 mils of tank water. There's a little 10 mil line right on the glass. So take some tank water, use a syringe, fill it right up. And when you're looking at it, there's what's called the meniscus. So if you look at that line, it kind of, the water curves up the edges of the glass. So when you're looking at your measurement, you want to make sure the bottom, so the very bottom of that meniscus is at the line. That's what you're looking for. We got our 10 mils of tank water. I'm going to turn on the Hannah checker. You just take a paper towel and just give the covet a quick wipe off. Just make sure there's no fingerprints on it. Don't want anything messing with their reading. Now the Hannah checker says C1. So we'll pop our covet in. I usually try and make sure the bottles, the covet's facing the same way both times. So I'll line up the 10 mil with the front just in case of any slight distortions or anything with the glass that could be affecting it. Do a few light shakes to our reagent. Next put the needle to the bottom. With the syringe we'll suck up one millimeter, milliliter. And right to the line. All right, so this one's finished, says add C2. on, give it a few shakes, it says to invert it about 10 times. Again, just give another quick wipe off, get any fingerprints or marks off of it. 
got the 10 mil in the front, and push the button. Now wait a few seconds and we'll have our result. So the test is 149, so we take that and we times 149 times 0 0.056, and that will give us our degrees dkh. So that gives us a reading of 8.344, so there you go. We know our alkalinity level and that took us probably about a minute, a minute and a half max. There you go Rich, all in, that was about a minute and a half, two minutes max considering rinsing the covet out and putting everything away. So two minutes once a week, that's about the quickest you're going to get away with testing. Alkalinity, which I'd say is the main thing that you would want to test on a weekly basis, the rest, as long as you're dosing a balanced solution, get away with testing it once a month. Now if you had a new tank, you want to test it quite frequently, but if your tank's fairly well established, you have an auto doser, it's fairly automated, once you can test a few days in a row and you know it's stable, it's going to be pretty predictable after that. So you might even be able to get away a bit longer, but my recommendation is test elk once a week and test everything once a month, assuming you know everything's already stable. So now, if any of you guys have another question, be sure to head to reefdudes.com slash ask and fill out the details, hit send, and I will try and answer it as soon as I can. So hopefully you guys learned a little something with this. If you got any questions about testing, your tank parameters, anything else, hit me up in the comments below or at Ask Reef Dudes. And otherwise, if you enjoyed this, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe to stay tuned for more great videos from Reef Dudes.